Hi Emma, welcome to your cardiovascular examination station. Could you please perform a cardiovascular examination on Raymond, please? Yep, okay. Hello, my name's Emma Cameron. I'm one of the fifth year medical students. Can Hi. I ask your name, please? Uh, my name is Raymond Diallo. Hi Raymond, it's nice to meet you. So I've been asked to examine your cardiovascular system today. It will just involve me having a look and feel of your hands, face and chest and then having a listen to your heart. Is that okay? Absolutely. And if it's all right with you, as I'm going through the examination, I'll talk back to my examiner, explain the sort of things that I'm looking for and what I'm doing. That's fine. Okay. So I'm just going to start by having a look from the end of the bed. So I can see that you're comfortable at rest, not short of breath. Ideally, I'd expose your chest, but I'll leave you covered up while we do some of the peripheral examination. And then I'll have a look when we get into closer. Okay. All right. Okay. So I'll start by having a look at your hands, if that's okay. So I'm going to just have a feel of the temperature of your hands. Have a look at your nails, looking for any clubbing, splinter hemorrhages. Test the capillary refill time. Okay, that's great. And can you turn your hands over for me? Just have a look for any pallor in the palm creases. Okay, and then I'll have a feel of your pulse. And have you got any pain in the shoulder at all? No, I don't. Okay, I'm just going to lift your arm up into the air. Okay, brilliant. So that's just checking for any collapsing pulse. So um, at this point, ideally, I'd normally take your blood pressure. Would you like me to do that? No, today? don't worry, please continue. No, okay. So moving on up, the next thing I'm going to have a look for is a pulsation in your neck. So if you could turn your head slightly to that way and look up into the corner of the room. I'm having a look for what's called the jugular venous pressure to see if it's raised in some pathologies. Okay, that's fine. You can look back towards me now. Now I'm just going to have a feel of your neck as well. So I'm having a feel for the carotid pulse. This is a bigger pulse so that I can assess the character and the volume. Okay, and the same on this side. Okay, brilliant. Now if I can have a look in your eyes, please. So if you can look straight at me, I'm just going to have a look around your eyes for any xanthelasma, in your eyes for any corneal arcus, and if you could just pull down the lower lid of your eye, please. Just looking for any pallor of the conjunctiva. Okay, thank you. Next, I'm going to have a look at your mouth. So looking at the corners of your mouth for any angular stomatitis. If you could open your mouth for me. Stick your tongue out. And then lift it to the roof of your mouth. Okay, thank you. So I was just looking for oral and dental hygiene, any central cyanosis, and any high arching palate. Okay, so now we're going to move on to have a look at your chest. So would you mind taking your gown down for me, please? So start by feeling for the apex beat. So this is normally in the fifth intercostal space in the midclaviculine. Okay, that's fine. Just take your pulse at the same time. Okay. Now I'm going to feel for any palpable pulsations of your heart. So start by feeling for a heave. This will be a right ventricular heave. And then feeling for thrills over the valvular areas. Okay, I'm going to have a listen to your chest now if that's alright. Alright. I'll just have a feel of one of the pulses in your neck at the same time. Okay, I'm going to listen in some of those places again, but I'm going to ask you to move into different positions. Sure. So if you could turn to your left for me. And if you could take a deep breath in and out and hold it. This position just accentuates any mitral murmurs. Okay, that's great. And if you could sit forward for me. I'm just going to listen here. If you could take a deep breath in and out, and hold it. And this position just accentuates any aortic murmurs. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna have a listen to your neck, so you take a deep breath in, out, and hold. And this is for any carotid breeze. Okay, and the same on the other side. Okay, 
Brilliant, just gonna have a look at your back now. I'm just gonna check for any scars that I may not have seen earlier on your back. And then I'm gonna have a listen to your lung bases. Okay, so if you can take some deep breaths in and out for me. Okay, thank you. It's just listening for any crepitations there. Now I'm just gonna check for any fluid that might have collected at the base of your back. So I'll just press here. So I'm just testing here for sacral edema. Okay, nothing there, you can relax back down. And then I can check for peripheral edema over the anterior tibia. Okay, there's none there. That's the end of the examination, you can cover up now. Thank you. So to complete my examination, I'd like to do a full um, peripheral vascular examination, including um, peripheral pulses. I'd also like to do a 12 lead ECG, maybe do a respiratory examination to check there's no respiratory pathology. So in summary, today I examined Ray's cardiovascular system. On inspection, he was comfortable at rest. There was nothing around the bed that would indicate a cardiovascular pathology. Um, his pulse was regular at 68 beats per minute and there was no peripheral stigmata of cardiovascular disease. On palpation, the apex beat was located normally in the fifth intercostal space in the midclavicular line. There was no heaves or thrills. Um, on auscultation, heart sounds one and two were present with no added sounds. In summary, this was a normal cardiovascular examination. Okay, thank you. Could you move to your next station?